Hi, my name's Fiona Dunnan. I'm from FMD Architects and welcome to our CLT house. Today we're on the Mornington Peninsula uh, and this is a holiday house for our clients. There's an incredible amount of research and development that we've done into CLT, which is cross laminated timber, which is an incredible um, mass timber construction. And what we're doing here is really trying to minimise steel and maximise timber in the design of the house. So the bridge that you can see here, which is the key design feature that you see on approach to the house, this is really the new core of the house that we've designed. So it's the main extension over the original part of the house. And what it is, is really a central gathering point for all the different family members to come together and work together, play together, relax together. It's, so it's an area of congregation and it's also an area of retreat for our, our clients as well. So here we are at the start of the extension, the bridge link, which is for, where you see a great example of how CLT is made, so cross laminated timber, which is how you see the big sections of timber working in different directions to create a really stable material. And here you can see how it's actually, we've used engineered timber for the columns, the stairs, the walls, the beams, everything is out of timber. So it's a really great point to see how it all comes together. So here you can see our obsession with CLT was taken to another level where basically the whole interior is fabricated out of CLT. The shelves, the desks, everything. We really wanted to celebrate the material in its, in its sort of large scale mass, but also beautiful fine details with the same material. This wall that you can see here is actually a one giant three metre high CLT beam that we've then cut the windows out of for ventilation slots. Uh, so it's a really amazing giant beam out of timber, which is quite incredible. So you can see here the sawtooth roof, which is the predominant architectural feature of the design. The reason for the sawtooth, it allowed us to create lots of natural light coming into the space but also on every one of these pitched elements is a bank of solar panels which is actually powering the whole house. And another great thing about it is some ventilation slots that we've got up at the peak of these ceilings which allows us to open up the ceiling and allow the hot air to escape in summer but we can close it down in winter to retain that heat. So it's doing a lot of different things in the design. So one thing we really love to do is integrate the lighting into the structure so as not to distract from the overall architectural form. So here you can see how the LED strips have been routed into the ceiling beams. They're also at the top of these uh, wall beams here to uplight the ceiling. So what really resonates is the overall structure rather, being, rather than being distracted from any decorative elements in the space. So we're in the main bedroom now and what you can see here is how we've opened up the bathroom to the bedroom which allows us to get full cross ventilation over the spaces which is fantastic. So for the finer joinery elements we've introduced another style of plywood here. You can see it's a much finer grain stacked plywood called maxi ply and you can see it through the bed head, the wardrobes and also the kitchen downstairs. So the kitchen downstairs has a lovely mix of both the maxi ply and the CLT in the design, bringing the spaces and the materials all together in that one element. So what was key to the success of the project was our relationship with our builder, CCB and Vico. They were involved from the outset of the project, so from concept design to assess the buildability and the, the feasibility of using CLT. Um, and this was really important all the way through as they assessed the details to ensure that we got the highest level of finish, particularly on the interior with all those fine uh, details that we've done in CLT. So thank you for coming to visit our CLT house with us today. We hope you enjoyed it and you learned something about timber design and timber engineering. And if you have any interest in this and want to find out more about this project or the materials, have a look at the details down below to find out more.